I'm Doreena Allen from Ballymaloo Cookery School in Ireland and I've just written a book called Forgotten Skills of Cooking and this evening I'm going to show you how to scale and gut and fillet a sustainable fish. Good. Now we have in here a little sea bass, a beautiful fresh sea bass. It shouldn't smell so pick it up and, and give it a smell. If it smells at all fishy then it's uh, not fresh. So first we we'll gut it. So what you do is with a nice sharp knife uh, just put the tip of the knife into the vent there and just cut right up to almost under the chin. What do I see? Yeah, just up like that there. Good. Then it's not difficult, just put your hand in and just take out all the little bits from inside. So it's not even particularly messy or anything, so people who haven't ever done it before needn't be worried. So just cut this out like that. It's good to have a little paper, a newspaper or something underneath. Take your time, that's the liver and all the other little bits there. So gather that up and then We'll just take those up and discard or give it to your cat or something. Now at this point we give it a good wash under the sink but also I'm actually going to scale the fish as well because some fish have quite big scales. Look, you see like this here, you can see the size of those scales uh, and if you're going to pan grill this or something you definitely need to take the scales off. So now, so just, I usually use the back of the knife and just hold it and you see flick off the and they be careful because they're quite, the, you know, they're, they're quite big uh, sort of bones there at the back. So in, in some ways it's good to just cut those off with a scissors beforehand just to be on the safe side. So down one side first and then turn it over onto the other side. There we are. Okay. Now give it a good wash. and also wash out the inside as well. Now if you're going to cook it whole, you don't want to be particularly meticulous about cooking out, uh, about washing out the inside, but if, I, if you're going to fillet it, it doesn't really matter quite so much. So now I'm just going to fillet the fish. Uh, so, and that's quite easy too, but you need a good sharp knife, preferably a filleting knife with a flexible blade if you can. So first and foremost, take the head off. Now, um, just cut, catch up the little fin and cut around like that in behind that fin there and then turn it over onto the other side lift up the fin again and cut into a v-shaped piece on the head because there's a nice bit of meat there so it's a pity to lose it and then just twist off the head like that then uh, put your finger on the back of the blade you want a sort of flexible blade like that put your finger on the back of the blade anytime you're using the, the tip of the knife finger along the back of the blade and cut just above there we are like that, right down to the very end. Now, and then use your, the knife is very important, but you also need to use your thumb as well to feel where you're going. So keep the thumb, your thumb just in in front of the knife. Just a little small, uh, little strokes like that. Just cut in, and then where well, you'll feel where the bones are. Now there's another line of bones just in here, and these are quite big bones actually. A lot of fishmongers just cut straight through, but I normally would put, put my knife underneath those bones and take them out again, and then slip the knife underneath to lip, cut the fillet off the rib cage. So that's one little fillet off, like that. Now feel around with your fingers just to make sure that there are no extra bones in the centre there. So that's one fillet. And then uh, turn it over, but if you leave the fish like that, I started from the head to the tail that time, but if I turn it over like this, I'd be working underneath my arm, so it's quite dangerous to do that. So always, never, if any time you feel clumsy or awkward, you're in the wrong position. So just turn the fish around, and this time start from the tail to the head. So it's the same thing, just cut. The skin is quite tough on this fish. Just cut just above the backbone there like that. And then it, you can push, there's always a line of bones, you see, underneath this line down along the skin. So they're very fine bones down at the end. So you can kind of put your knife in and almost put it right across and lift off the fillet there. Then turn it round like this. And again, just with your, with your using your 
um, the finger as a guide again, you know, your thumb as a guide, cut down along. And look, you see there, the, that's the line of bones in there. Just push off the bones, push off the flesh, off the bones. You see the line of bones and then lift to put your knife underneath and lift out that those bones and leave them attached to the carcass like that and then it turns around again and just take the slide off the fillet just off the ribcage. So there's three little lines of bones there. Now I know the fishmongers they just cut straight through that centre bit but then you have bones in the middle which you'd prefer not to have. Okay so this can go maybe made into a fish stock uh, the carcass, give it a good wash and make it into a fish stock and here you have the two nice um, uh, fillets of fish. So it, this is all you need to do to it for pan grilling it because you need the skin uh, but for example if you wanted to take it off the skin let me show you how to skin it that's very easy too. You just literally put it skin side down on the board and then hold on to the skin and just cut down as far as the skin and then with your knife at a sort of 45 degree angle kind of hold on to it like that and just kind of wiggle it like that and then you can uh, take off the skin. So there we are, so that's it. And if you have left any on, on behind, you can just you could just t just cut it off easily if you want to, but that's fine. And then just cut your uh, fi your fillet into two pieces or leave it whole, whichever you like. So that's a little uh, sustainable uh, uh, sea bass, and um, you can cook it in any number of different ways.